That's your Seaside Bands. All right, good morning, Seaside. Good morning, Seaside. Oh, I felt the love on that one, thank you. All right, so this morning we have Brian Atkins and he's going to be holding the light for us this morning. He's gonna be holding the space um, for this beautiful message that we're gonna hear. So thank you, Brian. All right, so December 10th through the 17th, uh, Seaside sponsors Interfaith Shelter. The sign up is gonna be at the, in the family room, there's gonna be a table. Sunny is heading that up. And you can see that table for any other holiday information um, as well. On Wednesday, this Wednesday coming up, we have uh, Cease Foster coming and she's gonna give an amazing talk for Power Up and we're gonna have Kinney Dye and she's singing for us. So that's this Wednesday at seven o'clock. I'll see you guys there. Um, December 18th, this year we have um, two events celebrating the winter solstice. The first one, the kickoff, is on Monday with uh, Callie and the Seaside Sisters, and that's just for women. Sorry, fellas. But the women get a circle with Callie December 18th at 6.30, and that'll be here. On December 20th, we have the Winter Solstice Ceremony at 7 p.m., and that's for everyone. Everyone is welcome, and we have a little clip for you here. It's a coming. I just talk really fast, so I should just be looking at Marv the whole time. Yeah, that could be you in there. <laughs> So that's uh, Wednesday the 20th at 7 p.m. You don't need any experience. You don't even need a drum. Everything will be provided for you and there will be child care. We are selling tickets. Kay is back there. If you get the tickets today, they are $20. At the door, it'll be $25. Just, you know, just so you know. On December 22nd, we have the candlelight service. So you all have this beautiful flyer in your programs. So remember to bring some cookies so we can have a cookies exchange. I prefer the macadamia ones and the chocolate chip ones. You can bring whatever you want. That's just my personal preference. On December 25th, we have a Christmas carol ceremony at noon community potluck at 1 p.m. And um, Reverend Christine does this every year. So if you need somewhere to go, we have, we have um, a potluck happening here the 25th, the date of Christmas. And December 31st, we have a burning bowl ceremony from 7 to 8.30. All right, so we at Seaside are proud to support the Community Resource Center Holiday Basket Program that helps 1,500 pre-screened North County families in need to have a dignified holiday by providing each family member with 50 pounds of food, each family member with a warm coat, a blanket, and a gift. We will be taking donations today in the family room, so get out some of your bread and give it to a good cause. It's tax deductible. And this is the last Sunday to donate. Okay, Bob, hit it. Check. 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 Hey, Dave. Dave, is that the list? It's the list, all right. Hmm. The naughty and nice list. I've checked it once, and I've checked it twice. We've got toys, check. Blankets, check. Jackets, check. Bikes, check. Hmm. Are you sure we're going to have enough? Because uh, I was talking to some of my other L friends in the workshop. And uh, the, the word out on the lane is that you're in big trouble with the big C. Oh, I don't know if I'm in trouble with the big C. And I know I'm not in trouble 
with the other hello seaside, Mr. C. But I might be in trouble with our boss, Mr. Ho Ho Ho. Oh, well, you know, I thought last week you asked all of these people at Seaside to help us out with the CRC thing. And boy, did they. We had an in-gathering you wouldn't believe. We got over 200 blankets and jackets and toys, and you know something? Yay! You know something? To this point, we brought in over $3,500 cash. Brand, money, dinero. Dough? Dough. Woo! Bread. <laughs> well, that's awesome. You know what? Seaside is awesome. But you know, I'm kind of looking out in this crowd here today, and some of them look like they're kind of on the edge of the naughty list. Ooh. And, you know, they know who they are. Nope. So there's one right that's there. One so She's speaking down, up. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, you know, Dave, is there anything you could maybe do to kind of push them over, like pull them over to the nice list? Well, I'll, I'll see what I can do to put in a good word with Mr. C. And if they can donate some extra bread today, that would be terrific. All right. All right. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> So now we can all stand up and greet our neighbors. <laughs> Good morning, Seaside. Please remain standing for the congregational song. It's kind of one of the newer ones we've added. But if you remember it, sing it with me. I am a center of creation. I am a seed planted in stillness. I am a center of creation. Fertile ground for the highest thoughts of God. That's right, Seaside. I am a center of creation. I am a tree rooted in fullness. I am a center of creation. Fertile ground for the highest thoughts of God. Come on, Bob, give us a little saxophone. Yeah, Bob, come on, Max. That's our seaside band right there, everybody. Yeah. I am a center of creation. I am complete, living in wholeness. I am a center of creation. Fertile ground for the highest thoughts of God. Tag that. Fertile ground for the highest thoughts of God. Fertile ground for the highest thoughts of God. Yes, he sighed. <laughs> Thank you, Rebecca. Hey, you know, the first service didn't get Rebecca. She just slipped on in here with Rico from... <laughs> Indiana, right? Indiana, yeah. Sheila E. and your she, girls. That's right. She just had her 60th birthday concert in Oakland right before that. Wow. So we were in Oakland, then flew to Indiana, then back home. Well, we're so. glad you're here now. <laughs> we'll take you half the time. 
Welcome back. For hey, and we got big candlelight service coming up uh, yeah. 22nd, right? I know. It's going to be awesome. Well, yeah, we got some friends coming in. Yeah, we'll have a bunch of people. That's good. Our Seaside family and then some. Nice. So be sitting like around the living room. Marv's going to have the fireplace up on the screen. Absolutely. Oh, good. Good. Feel the heat that's coming it. out of the screen. That's always, <laughs> it's always hot at Seaside, that's for sure. Hey, good morning, Seaside. Hey. Woo, what a joy it is to be here with you. And speaking of heat, um, just heart goes out to all those uh, who caught up in the fires uh, this week. A um, number of people reached out for Seaside for support, for prayer, um, for love, um, for help. Um, and just it was just a beautiful thing to know that Seaside was here to be able to, to love at the best of our capacity. And so um, just I want you to know that it is a significant place um, that people turn to in, in those times of challenge and pain. And, and we got plenty of phone calls, that's for sure. And so... Love, uh, love to them all, and, and and love to you. My goodness, you know, I'm just so grateful that you are here, wherever you are on your spiritual path, that you're able to find your way here in the midst of a season of light and joy and happiness, as well as challenges and questions that we're able to come to our spiritual home and be recharged, rejuvenated, reinvigorated, realigned, refreshed, filled with passion, ready to go to experience what it is all supposed to be about. But it all comes down to our choosing, and that's what we get to do at C is remember that we are at choice as to how we are going to move forth with whatever's going on in our life. So um, I, I, to move us to a little deeper place so we can remember to remember and connect with that deeper uh, presence is a wonderful practitioner, or should I say elf, and, and that is Sharon DeLeon, who um, is just going to take us to that deeper place with prayer. Please join me into the stillness. I rejoice, for this is the day that God hath made. I rejoice in the allness, the fullness, the love, and the oneness of it. For I know that I am one with that power, that presence. That the Father and I are one. And as I know this is true for me, I know this is true for each one here, that they are one with the Father and never alone. And so I rejoice. For this is the day that God hath made, and I step into it. I step into the infinite potentiality of it, the love of it, the joy of it, and I am grateful. For I know that anything and everything that I need has already been given. For it is Spirit's good job to give me, Spirit's good pleasure to give me the kingdom. So I know that the activity that takes place right here, right now, is the greater ability for me to receive it, to allow it. So I just open. I open to the greatness of this day. I open to the music of this day. I open to the words of this service. And I open to Dr. Christian's message. I open to the smiles. I open to the hugs that are given and I open to the tears, for I know that it is all for me. It is all for you, and that all is well. And so I just open to it all. I rejoice, for this is the day that God hath made.
thank you, Rebecca. She came straight from the airport and didn't even stop at home to be with here with us right now. Isn't that amazing? Mm. And thank you. Thank you so much, Sharon DeLeon, for praying us in, in such a sacred way. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Reverend Christina Tillotson, and it's my honor to especially welcome you. If you're new here to Seaside, you've joined a spiritual community that celebrates the holidays by celebrating that light and that love of spirit that's through and as all of creation, but especially we pay attention to it even more this time of year. And you have come to a place where, where we absolutely support you in awakening you to your spiritual magnificence to contribute to a world that works for everyone. So thank you so, so much for being here. We have a special gift packet at the table right outside the door with a coupon for the bookstore and all kinds of goodies, like a CD from Dr. Christian, just to show how much we are appreciative of your being here. So thank you. Here at Seaside, we, as you heard in the announcements, we have lots of ways of, of sending our hearts out to this community. And I want to highlight the things that I'm doing because I'm so thrilled that on Christmas Day, you're all invited to come here to Seaside. This is the only place that I know of that's having a service on Christmas Day except the Catholic churches. So please, if I'm leading a... Christmas Carol sing-along ceremony where Janelle Ale Jeanette Alexander and some of the choir members will be leading you in carols, and I'll be talking about the metaphysical meanings of the carols. I've loved the carols ever since I was a kid, so I'm thrilled that I get to do this on Christmas Day for Seaside. It's a short little ceremony for 45 minutes, and then at 1 o'clock, we're having our 12th annual dinner for the whole community on Christmas Day. It's a place for people to come and celebrate Christmas Day with our larger community of Seaside, as well as the larger community of North San Diego County. We're the only place in this part of North County that has something, a dinner on Christmas Day, and and we just want everybody to come. It and what you can do is if you so if you can bring a potluck dish that serves a lot of people so that those who can't it can come anyway and bring your friends, bring your friends whether they can bring something or not. We just want you to be here to celebrate Christmas with us. And we have Santa coming at two o'clock, our professional Santa. And my very favorite, my very favorite picture is of a couple of years ago, a senior citizen with her oxygen tank sitting on Santa's lap. So, so, you, so whether you're a senior or a kid, just celebrate the kid in you. And then on New Year's Eve, I have the honor for the past 15 years of leading the burning bowl ceremony. And I don't know about you, but I found this year a little bit stressful. And it's a way to write down all the things that you want to let go of during the year. We'll be in here, then we'll go outside and burn them, get rid of them, and then come back in here and set our intentions for the new year. So we need volunteers for that. I especially need volunteers to help with the fires so that, that we don't burn down the, 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 the sanctuary. And, and we especially need volunteers for, for the dinner. So we need volunteers who are willing to come, come, come around 9 or 10 o'clock and set up. So there's sign-up sheets back there. I'll be back there after the greetings of everyone. So please come and sign up and come join us for Christmas and for New Year's Eve. I'm, I'm very passionate about having things on the actual holidays. So, I, so we get to do that here at Seaside. So instead of a reading today, I, I want to share a story. On Thursday, when the fires were, were engulfing the Bonsal area, and I don't even know her name, but there was this woman who just loves horses. And she had a trailer and a truck that would fit six horses. So she took it upon herself, by herself, all alone, to go and find 10 horses put them in her trailer that only held six, and bring them down to the fairgrounds where there were lots of volunteers to take care of them. She did this three other times. So she rescued a total of 40 horses along with a few dogs, 
And when one of the volunteers the fourth time says, how in the world can someone like you at the age of 87 do this all by yourself? And she said, honey, this is nothing compared to World War II. <laughs> That's the kind of heart we have in this community, in this world. And Dr. Christian is going to talk about heart today. So let's just go into our hearts into prayer. Going to that place. There were that place where that light and that love of spirit is celebrated throughout the world, whether it's Christmas or Hanukkah or Diwali or Diwali or the winter solstice. This time of year has celebrated the return of the light to the world throughout all of, of history. That light that's never gone, but that light is through and as all of its creation and, and absolutely honored this time of year when the, the, when the world is dark. So I'm knowing that that power and that presence of, of spirit is, that's through and as all of its creation is through and as me and each beautiful spirit here and each beautiful spirit coming in through the internet, revealing that light and that love and that joy of spirit right here and right now in this sacred time. And so I'm knowing for this sacred time together that that light and that love and that heart of, of the holidays is revealed through this time together and spreads out to, to comfort and reveal that light and that love of spirit through all of those who have been affected by the fires and all of the volunteers and the heroes who, who are putting the fires out. It is all God and it is all that light and that love of spirit. No matter what is going on on this physical plane, that light and that love and that heart of spirit is right here and right there and right here and right now spreading throughout this world from this sacred place of seaside. And for this light and this love and this heart, I am so, so grateful as I release this word to the law, knowing it is that done, now done in perfect light and love and joy. And so it is. Amen. Good morning, Seaside. What is my honor to introduce our guest artist. We love when she's here from, uh, from the stage to the TV screen to Seaside. We're so grateful when she's here, all the way down from Los Angeles. Uh, she's a phenomenal singer, just a beautiful spirit as well. If you're moved by her music, please see her after. She does have CDs with her today, so please help me welcome, without further ado, Bashira. I'm taking Rebecca back to LA with me. How about that? <laughs> all right. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, hey! Hey, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. When it's time to grow and spread my Wait any longer, and my journey's long, but I shall endure. Remember always what God put you here for. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't you forget God's dream, it's what we're meant to be. Don't you forget God's dream Even when I'm seen no longer And I will look back Across the skies, across the sea And I'll smile in your direction And know you're smiling back at me And there's one more thing That you must know more yeah yeah remember always what God put you here for yeah 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 don't you forget God's dream it's what women to be don't 
you forget God's dream Even when I'm seen No longer can you give me some Yeah, 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 yeah Just a little more, yeah, yeah, yeah So just wipe your little eyes, baby, yeah, yeah Let me tell you on this side right here Don't you forget it, don't you cry God's right beside you, so just wipe your little eyes Oh, yeah Can I tell you right here Don't you forget it I won't forget it, no, no, no Don't you forget it God's dream Don't you forget it I won't forget it, no, no, no Don't you forget it Let me tell you one more time yeah, again don't you forget it, yeah Oh, it is God's dream It's your dream Don't you forget it No, no, no No, no Don't you forget it I won't forget it No, no, no Don't you forget it God's dream God's dream yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. And that is for sure. Woo! Having us remember God's dream. Oh, what a great gift. Thank you, Prashira. Wow, how fun, how beautiful, what a great message. And you know what? This holiday season is all about those dreams, it's all about the love, which is why at the beginning of this season, I'd like to take a, a moment to remind us that it is about the love, it is about the joy, it is about the heart, which is um, coming home to the heart for the holidays, right? Coming home to the heart means getting out of your head because sometimes um, the holidays aren't always just filled with joy. There is like these insane schedules that some of us try to keep. There is excessive uh, uh, commercialism going on and consumerism that is happening. There are family dynamics that are less than joy-filled, even possible painful memories that, that come up. And what I want us to, to get is there's also the, the possibility in the season of the joy, of the love, the caring, the affection, the gifting, the giving, the, the excitement, the music, the light, uh, the magic, the presence. And all these are there as a possibility for us. But we've got to recognize that if we are busy beyond normal stages, if we are caught up in expected excessiveness, it may just be the time to disrupt those patterns. Hello is right. I'm telling you right now, before they really get going in your life, that just grabs you out of the heart experience. I want you to return home to the heart for the holidays. And remember, it is about the joy. It is about the love. It is about that, the caring. It is about that. And when you make that your intention and you align with your intention, goodwill tends to follow. Now, it may look like you've got to... Um, maybe say no some of the times to the invitations. And if you do say yes to you know, those parties, don't do it at the expense of saying no to yourself, to your heart, to your joy, and to your, your, your presence and your spirit. It's up to you to decide, hey, is, is this going to bring me joy? You know, you're the one who gets to decide. It doesn't matter which Christmas or Hanukkah or Diwali or whatever holiday it is for you. You get to decide it wherever you are in your life. Um, I, I'm... I read just this week, and I actually saw this video clip that's seen by 10 million people. 
of this women's basketball team here in San Diego. And you may have seen it, 10 million people. It's a possibility, local team. But it is a women's basketball team. And um, it's the only requirement to play for this team is you've got to be 80 years old. <laughs> you know? and, and there's one woman, Grace Larson, who's now 91, who said she never played in organized sports until she was 78 because that was never available to her in school. And so for them to lace up their basketball shoes and play, they've got to be 80. Now, it's said that most of the younger teams that are in their 60s and 70s beat them, but it's a senior league that is here in town. And so you get to decide, hey, am I too old or am I going to give my power away to this dynamic or am I going to say, you know what, I get to decide whether I'm going to come from my heart or am I going to come from my head? Oh, oh. <laughs> Rosedale, I just love you here. Yeah? <laughs> I'm going to use about 10 more of you in the front row, man. You just, you just keep it coming. <laughs> That's a good thing. So, um, but, but anyway, uh, I, I get that sometimes there's people during the season and in life in general that just annoy you. Um, <laughs> you know, just, they just drive you crazy. <clears throat> And what, what I have found for me, what I do with that, is I come to recognize, you know what? These people are just annoying, and that's just who they are. And if they're going to be in my life, I recognize they're crazy, and they're annoying, and that's just the agreement we are in this relationship here. Oh, then there's others who like to control it all. You know? And what I have discovered is what's important is to recognize they do it because they care. That's what I remind myself. Sometimes I say, you know what, this really isn't working for me. You know, it hurts, but you know, I, I've got to fess up with it. And another thing that's important to be able to come from your heart is to give up trying to have everything perfect. You know, you know like the tree... You know, you should see Trevor's tree. We got him this special living tree. Actually, it was left over from last year. I didn't tell him. But it, it, it's a living tree. So it's a, and it looked like a wave. It was kind of growing for a year and wasn't trimmed. It was not kind of, it wasn't really lean. But the other night, it just fell. And so there went perfection that we had put on his tree. And now it is a very unique expression of spirit. It is a natural living tree. If we can give up things having to be perfect and be, come, and be willing to come from the heart, we can begin to experience that spirit in a way that is gracious and, and good. But we've got to work within our own consciousness, within our own mind. And it's kind of easy if the judgment's going on in my mind. But have you ever been the target of other people's judgment? <laughs> It's like rapid fire, da, 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 da. you did that, da. it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. It, it's not necessarily as easy, but it helps for me to say, you know what, whatever's going on out there is a reflection of what's going on in here, so they're projecting on me, I'm really a reflection of what's going on for them, and it helps me, but I found, if you've ever heard the dialogue, it, it doesn't really work to tell the other person that when they're firing on you. You say, I'm only being a reflection of what's not right or working inside of you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and they come back and say, well, thank you, dumb part of me. <laughs> you know? no, I, I've had enough, you know, standing up in front of people and doing, the, you know, you, there's a lot of judgment that's always coming my way. But I, I, um, I, at 35 years of putting on events and, and banquets, I've had my share. And I, I can remember this one we were doing at a, at a hotel. It was a banquet. It was a free banquet. So who would complain, right? But... <laughs> Yeah, you know, it, it was maybe 180 people, and, it, it, you know, I don't actually do the things, but I definitely am on top making sure that looks good, decorations, music, food, ambiance, you know, enough chair, all that stuff. And so the night of the event, it, it's all coming off, looking good, feeling good. Things seem, I go to table, hey, how's it going? How's it going? Nice, glad you're here. You know, everybody's just swamping me with all these wonderful praises, and I get to this one table in the corner, and I say, how's it going? Wrong question. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, they just take that as an invitation to download on me as to that they got stuck in, in the corner and that they are in the corner and that all of a sudden it is the worst table in the whole place and that's where they're at. And the food, how did, why did we choose this place? The food is terrible. The music is lousy. Why don't they play something which I can dance to? And, and on they went. And it was like, oh my goodness. And I was like, oh, I, it was a unique inquiry I, I gave them. And, you know, I, 
I, I realize that, you know, they were just sitting there among themselves, just escalating their sense of how terrible everything was. And that snarky part of me wanted to say, well, you could have got here sooner, you know. <laughs> you know, you got a better table. And, you know, the food, well, everybody else's plate was empty. It couldn't have been that bad. And take a look at the dance floor. It's pretty full. But no, I chose to breathe. <clears throat> I chose to hit that pause button for a moment. Come from the heart, Christian. You know, yeah, yeah. And as soon as I took it off me and my egocentric sense of blame and oh ju judgment, and I just became more present. I began to recognize really what was going on is that they, they felt like they're missing something, that they weren't connecting, that they, they didn't belong, and it wasn't working. And as I began to, you know, express and, and my sincere I'm sorry for this, and, and it was surprising, I really was sorry, you know, that, that they were having this experience in their life, began to open up a little bit more. I could see that the lady's eyes soften and say, you know, the babysitter bailed on them just before they were getting ready to go. They had to find a new babysitter. And so by the time they got out, they were late. They got caught in the traffic. They got here, they ended up with this kind of table. And it's like all of a sudden I could feel their heart. But not until I was willing to recognize that this isn't about me. Now, <laughs> if I had jumped in with those snarky remarks, it then would have been about me and about my position and my kind of stuff trying to defend it and so yeah you know it's, <laughs> I did good one time <laughs> but I, I share that with you that all of a sudden if you can remember rather than to react and defend but to hit that pause with your breath and to take it all in and say hey okay what's going on here what is it I need to know how is it I, I need to be things can be different you know what, what, really, I, I think about the fact that, you know, we sing, or, you know, the, the fact that we say that there is a highway um, to hell, and there's only a stairway to heaven, <laughs> you know, <laughs> what does that say about our expectations here in, in, in life? You know, but it is about catching ourselves, and that's what this whole message is about, is to be able to come home to the heart for the holidays and, uh, and, and come from that place because when our consciousness changes, yeah, it's uh, amazing how we become aware of how unconscious we have been. That I was putting the blame out there. That I was giving my power away. That I was reacting in life. And so as I become conscious, I begin to recognize that I don't have to stay there if where I'm at. And, and so there's this beautiful holiday story we have heard for years, The Grinch. And there is a scene in there, John Kerry, this is the, uh, the movie version. And, and there's a beautiful song, that song that's been redone by Faith Hill. And I just heard it, so you may have heard it before, but I want to read you a few of the words um, th that come from it. And it says, the name of the song is, Where Are You, Christmas? And so the Grinch is standing up on the hill, feeling very Grinchy and nasty, and you know how he was. He said, Where are you, Christmas? Why can't I find you? Why have you gone away? You know, where is the laughter? You used to bring me. Why can't I hear the music play? My world is changing and I'm rearranging. Does that mean Christmas changes too? Where are you, Christmas? Do you remember the one you used to know? I'm not the same one. See what time has done? Is that why you have let me go? And... Uh, as he puts out where he really is in that moment, it becomes a portal of the greater possibility. And all of a sudden, in that moment, something begins to shift inside of him. And so what happened? Well, as we know, as they say down in Whoville, that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. Our heart can grow Spirit can arrive when we can recognize that, you know what, we have been caught within our consciousness. And our consciousness has helped lead us, but it's the stages and the states of consciousness in which we live in, which are a reflection of the outside. As we're talking about dealing with judgment, when it's inside, it's easier than when it's outside. But when things are going on in our world, we can feel very grinchy because of what has happened or those memories or those pains or what, what have you. But I want us to recognize that our heart can begin to open up for us to re-enter that. When we make it our intent, the good will will follow that. The states of consciousness are from the inside out. 
and we came into this world, and we didn't really create our original states of consciousness because we entered into the family, and the parents kind of guided us and directed us and gave us their consciousness, if you would. I mean, we had a propensity to a personality, but I mean, we kind of were given an upbringing with consciousness and then a society, and we're living in this. And in the Second Corinthians, it's a chapter 16, verse 7, it says, come out beyond them. It says, come out beyond them. Come out beyond that consciousness. Come out beyond what has been your shell. It's time to break that shell, pop through that bubble, allow yourself to live your intention, your, uh, your purpose, to live your, the infinity of your being, the, the eternality, the immortality of who you are beyond where you have been to this point, because who you are is so much more. And it's as you engage in this world, as you're willing to become that conduit in which you are giving of yourself to the world, you begin to play in the realm of the heart. You get out of the head and you get into the heart and you begin to be that expression of spirit in this world. I love seaside and our our generosity and our life and our sharing. I mean, I'm looking at a half a dozen bikes in the back. It's going to the community resource center. It's exciting. You know, last Sunday, we brought this wonderful woman um, who happens to be a a a refugee from Syria with her two children. Remember that? She um, shared the story that, you know, she and her husband and five children, her husband was, uh, had a truck driving business with his dad. They were middle class, living comfortably in, in their place, you know, school, kids going to school. Everything was good. And then the war broke out and they were displaced. They lost everything they had, as did everybody else, uh, as the bombs dropped. They made it through the desert. They were given, you know, safe place. They spent eight months in refugee camps, and somehow they won the lottery. I would consider that. You know, ending up here in San Diego on the visas to reestablish their life. But, you know, there's not enough necessarily to take care of things. And they shared their story. And Amina shared with her that she is selling baklava. And do you know that we bought, not that that's how much she had, but we raised for her through selling baklava. Or you guys generously gave over $1,800 to, to their family. And as a result of her greatest experience in a spiritual community in a financial way, the car that they, or van that their family had been saving for, for over a year, we put them over the top and they were able to purchase their van because of you guys. How good does that feel in your heart, in your soul, in your spirit? I mean, to hear that we've raised over $3,500 for the kids, 200 blankets and coats and bikes, and it's truly exciting what is going on here at Seaside. We are, we're coming from the heart. We're being that place in which spirit is expressing as we allow it to move through you. It just feels good. It feels wonderful. It, it feels magical. It, it feels divine when we allow ourselves to be that place where spirit is. But, you know, it doesn't necessarily happen on our time. See, when you're living from the heart... Um, you, you're able to be moved by spirit in ways that, uh, that move you that are beyond just, just your thought on, on how it, it should be. You know, there's a big difference um, in life and just making things happen on your time. Um, Rainier Maria Reiki, the, the wonderful bohemian poet of um, Austria, uh, said that an artist um, does not reckon, does not count, they ripen. It's like you ripen. It happens on your time. There's a big difference between forcing and making things happen and, and letting it birth itself with the explosion of the possibilities and the life and the creativity and, and the self-expression. It is like that. It's coming out when you're trying to make things happen. And it's something you don't want to be doing. It's kind of like walking through a desert on stilts. You know, with a time management evangelist in your head saying, hurry, hurry, hurry. You know, it's the difference of the joy of creating, of singing, of writing, uh, of expressing oneself in in your products or your proposals or, or what it is that you are creating. It is when you can trust the timing of spirit. An extraordinary life happens on divine timing, God's timing. And when you can learn to trust that, you're able to come from a sense of heart as opposed to being stuck in your, your head. I mean, who is to say how long a t- healing is supposed to happen? Let's say a loved one has gone away. You know, some people come back and they get back engaged in life and that becomes their place of, of growing and healing and living. And others need to sit in the pain and the sorrow and the darkness and cry. 
And there's not a right one or a wrong one. What I want us to get is there's a difference between linear time and soul time. And when you're living from the heart, you get to make your intention. You know what, Spirit? I'm ready for the joy, the holidays, and the light to return. You know, there's people in life who, who, who do a job that is not a soul passion, but it's emotionally safe. You know, they know it's expected, uh, the regular paycheck, and everything's solid. But there are others who find the creativity and the expression, that the demands of their soul that becomes powerful, that calls them forth. It's like where the shaman meets the demon. <laughs> it's like you infuse yourself in every aspect of the creation and the creativity that is there. Well, what I want us to know is that we have the potential to be able to be in that place and to be that place where spirit is expressing itself in all things. And when you can trust, the Course in Miracle says that um, those who are aware that all turns out well can wait and can wait without anxiety. Those who can trust that it all turn out, it's all going to come, can wait and can wait without anxiety. Can you wait without anxiety? You know, it's like getting on the train. And I'm sure I'm on the train, I'm good, I'm on the right track, and I'm heading in the right direction. It's beautiful. You know, maybe I'd like to get there sooner, but that's not really the option here. I'm, I'm, on, I'm heading the right place, right? This is good. I, I'm with my heart. You know, I, I've got to trust the divine timing here. I, I'd like it now, please. But you know what? It, it, it's, I'm not going to force the issue because that's the head, trying to make it perfect, trying to get everybody to do what it is I want them to do, trying to have that tree not fall over and just be, you know, it, it is, here, here you go. How about th that cute hunk that never called you back? <laughs> and then you found out later that the woman that he went out with, he stole all of her jewelry and ran uh, over her flower bed as he uh, fled the state, you know. You know, it, it's like, you don't know that in the moment. I want this. But as you begin to trust, you'll let things unfold in an appropriate way. Or that job that you forced your way into, it wasn't really meant to be. It wasn't right, but you knew it was right. You made it and you made it happen, and there you were. And it wasn't right. And then you needed to extract yourself from that with a therapist and a crane and a psychic and a shaman and a little ritual in the woods to free yourself from it. If we could just begin to trust our heart and our soul and the soul time of the unfoldment of these holidays that I may not be in that right joyous spot yet, but you know what? My intention is I'm going to be the place for joy on joy to the world to happen. And God, if you had forgotten me or spirit or whatever, I am here. I am ready for that shift, for that Christmas, for that Hanukkah, for that something to take place inside of me. I am so available, spirit. Use me. Use me, God. And what begins to happen is you desire to make that soul connection, that spirit. It's a state of consciousness that, that begins to change its vibration and its frequency, and, and it brings into your heart and your, your experience more than your mind could ever have conjured up. You begin to live with, with a sense of joy and, and well-being. You know, take a look at the great spiritual teachers that left us the scriptures. I mean, starting with probably the first written ones we got good from is Krishna and uh, the Vedas and the Upanishads, which included the Bhagavita. And then you had Lao Tzu, who showed us, left us the way, the way of the, the Tao. And then you had Buddha, who took the Hindu teachings of the next step of showing us the path, the eightfold path that, that went with that. And then Shankara that gave us um, the concept of not two but one, the Atman, if you would. And then, uh, and then you had Nanak who gave us the Sheikh, the Sikh religion. Or, you know, or the, the Persians and Zoroaster or, or the prophets and Judaism. I mean, you know, Hanukkah starts on Tuesday night here. To be able to, to celebrate that, um, you know, you got it all the way up to, you know, Ernest Holmes and, and the new thought that, you know, I am able to be an expression of the divine and create my reality. And all these teachers let, who had that God experience, that divine experience, the the light experience, the Christian experience, the, the, the Christ experience, the, you know, there's Jesus. He, he showed us our heritage and to be able to live by grace. You know, all these individuals 
pointed us to have the experience ourselves. They had this divine connection and said, you know what, this whole thing is about the birth of the light and the God experience within our heart and within our soul. And as we begin to say, yes, I am available. I may haven't had it up to this point, but you know what? My schedule has been insane. It has been crazy. I've been caught up in the commercialism and the excess consumerism. You know what? I, I, that's not me. You know, Ruby said, we're all walking each other home. Well, you know, Seaside is here to help us walk us home to our heart to remember, you know, what this is about is that our, our nation and a lot of the globe is singing with joy this time of year and it is available to you, but you've got to create the space. You've got to disrupt those patterns and give yourself some self-care. Sometimes sit with the pictures of those that you love that aren't in your life. Let yourself cry. Let yourself feel. Let yourself get messy and ugly over your, your heart's expression so you can be in that place that is real vulnerable and filled with joy. You know, I was going to show more of these pictures of the Community Resource Center when I was talking about it. Look at what we did here. You know, talk about joy. You know, we have all of these individuals from Seaside and the bikes and the toys. That's what we get to do. Does that not feel good in your heart and your soul? Those are the kind of things that Seaside is doing. I heard a uh, wonderful story. Um, well, it didn't start off too wonderful. Um, it, it was about... Uh, uh, a young man, uh, jo Jonathan uh, Rosier, and he graduated from Texas A&M in, in 2001. We got married and enlisted and went into uh, the Army. He served in Iraq, first started going off in, in, uh, in that era. He, his uh, platoon that he was leading, was he became a lieutenant, um, and he lined up tanks to protect... Um, um, the, his, his men from the enemy fire on the other side. He won a bronze medal of valor. Um, but in, in 2003, there was a surprise attack, and, um, and his life was taken. And, he was, and what he left behind um, was his wife, uh, Jessica, and a nine-month-old son. And um, you know, all the pain and the sadness that goes with that is, I, I can't even imagine. Your heart goes out to someone who is willing to risk it all. Jessica's left not only with the pain, but the car that sat in the driveway waiting for his owner to come home and never came home, and she had the car payment of this convertible Toyota Celica. And um, when she contacted Toyota, and they said, you know what, return it, we'll forfeit the loan, and we'll just call it good, to which she did. And she used that money for child care for her, her son, um, uh, Joshua, um, or Justin, I'm sorry, Justin, um, and fast forward 14 years, she, uh, she's going through looking for a birth certificate, and she comes across uh, Jonathan, her husband's um, registration for the vehicle, and her son's going to be turning, you know, age of driving, and she thinks, gosh, wouldn't that be, like, cool? He never got to know his dad. If he could have his dad's car... Uh, kind of far-fetched, but, you know, maybe I'll just put it out on Facebook and see if, if um, you know, she thought it was probably going to take a long time. And so she put this ad uh, up there, uh, not ad, but she said, can someone please help me find this car? It's a 1999 Toyota Celica convertible. It was John's car, and Jonathan, uh, he died in, in July, age 25. When, and when he died, I wasn't thinking ahead to just when Justin, his son, would be driving 15 years later. If you Facebookers could work your magic and help me find it, it would be an amazing present for his 16th birthday if it hasn't become a tin can by now. <laughs> Within a couple days, she got a call from a woman said, you know, I think my dad might have that car. You know, I don't know if he wants to part with it, but here's his number you can call. And she was afraid if I call and it's not or he doesn't, that's the end of the story. But she found the courage to give him a call. She called the guy. The guy said, you know, I, I don't know. You know, I, I like this car. L let me think about it. It wasn't an hour later he called back and said, you know what? I know your son would enjoy this car far more than I would. I would be happy you know, to get it to you. 
And so now Jessica's, wow, I found the car. And there's this uh, um, soldiers of the flag group in uh, Utah. And she told them about it. They said, hey, let us help you. They created a GoFundMe group. And like almost instantly, there were so many funds that they purchased the car. They tuned up the car. They uh, got it all cleaned up and polished. They put gas in. They had money left over for, um, for Justin. And, um, and there he is, Justin with his... And I share that because I want us to know in this holiday season where the magic is and we're enticed to listen to our heart, that when you listen to your head and the head that says, oh, he's not going to give it, who would find it? Oh, my goodness, it's been 15 years. This is ridiculous. You know, and the stories go on and on and on. I want you to know that if you were to go home to the heart, particularly for the holidays, you can come to the experience the magic and the wonder and the joy and the glory and the sense of family and the caring and the camaraderie and all the wonder that is created when you're choosing to live from the heart as opposed to a judgmental mind that is making it about me and having to make it done, fix it, defend it, or what have you. And so for the holidays at the front end of this, whether it's Diwali, whether it is Hanukkah, whether it is Christmas, or whether it is a pagan Wicca experience, it is all about that light and that love and that spirit and that expression returning into your experience from the dread and the dark and the difficulty, the impossibility and those things that happen when we do this thing called life. But the wonderful thing is you don't have to do it alone because you have a family here, a spiritual community that is your tribe, it is your clan that chooses to celebrate and love and sing together. I invite you to return home to your heart for the holidays at Seaside. God bless us as we do this together. Hey, let's keep it going as we bring Bashira back to our stage. Yes. One, two, one, two, three. Anybody tell me why a child has no food? Can anybody say that there's nothing we can do when your heart and God's hands are so strong? Can anybody tell you that? There isn't enough His well overflows But she can't fill her cup But with your voice And with your love This can change So come on and sing Take your heart In God's hand and I know we can be the way yeah, with your heart in God's hands. I know we can win. Can anybody say that we can live as one? See, the universe is ready for man's next evolution Where people are fed today with all needs met in every way Yeah, 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 yeah. Take your heart 
in God's hands And I know we can be the way yeah. Sing with me With your heart, your heart In God's hands, God's hands Yeah See, I know we can win Let me tell you now Wherever you are in the world today Know that someone is loving you Know that someone is praying for you Know that someone cares for you No matter what it may look like Someone is by your side Yeah, 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 yeah Let me tell you right here yeah. Wherever you are in the world today Know that someone is loving you Know that someone is praying for you Know that someone cares for you No matter what it may look like Someone is by your side Sing with me one more time and take your heart in God's hands and I know we can lead the way yeah. with your heart in God's hands yeah see I know we can win let me tell you just take Yes, Thank that you. is Brashira. My goodness, there could not have been a more perfect song. Ah, man, the God take your heart in its hands. I, wow. That was just, yeah, go girl. That's right. Hey, this is the time of our service where we have the opportunity to share our gift. We get to give our offering and, and to share our love. And just be in that wonderful flow that, that has brought us joy, that we have applauded, that has put chills up our spine today of the good that is going on through Seaside here today because we have chosen to say yes to be used by Spirit. And what we find is Spirit sources us. It continues to flow and to fill that space to our yes. And our yes to God doesn't mean no. It means it continues to flow. And so I just encourage you to listen to your heart here in this moment and know that your gift is significant in assisting seaside to to move through time and particularly to wrap up this year we can use all the support uh, to, to do that in a successful balanced kind of way and so as you give from that sense of love and joy and your ability to be that conduit and channel powerful things happen in your life yeah you know you get everything that's sent out is what comes back that's how it works so there's an opportunity to practice that so with that i want to invite our ushers and our greeters to come forward you know, at, at this time, and um, 
say thank you to this wonderful crew. Thank you to those who mail in your tithes and you cannot be here on a Sunday. It's greatly appreciated, as well as those that remember us with the auto tithe. And to those of you at home, we know that you're there. There is coming in more support all the time from you. Thank you so much. Include your email so I can write you a, a, a thank you for that and keep us posted as to what's going on. These stories I'm getting are often from those that are online. So um, we love you. We pray and you're in our prayers. And so I, I share this prayer uh, of gratitude with the most generous of spiritual communities, knowing that this truly is a blessed moment where the divine unfolds its expression through each and every one of us. For we have become that wonderful, vibrant expression of God bringing forth a richness and a fullness into life and to form. For truly, that infinite is what flows through us, and we are allowing ourselves to say yes with the intent of living in the good and the abundance and the goodwill follows that. For we cannot outgive spirit, but rather what happens is we expand to be a greater passage for the good to come forth. And so when we live with the sense of of generosity and, and, and givingness and love and abundance. We live with a deep sense of knowing our source, with a sense of security, with a sense of peace, a sense of well-being, that all is provided for in soul time, God time. So I let go of my needing to know and trust that which is greater than I am is what is expressing as. So I let go to this moment and say, thank you, Father, Mother, God, for this expanded awareness and the ability to participate in a new level. And so it is. Amen. Together, let us say this affirmation of abundance, which is, Spirit continues to bless my world. Gratefully, I live as the expression. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Now, that's it. All right. You know, I was, you know, I was thinking over here. My head went... Hollis, this, 95 years, he's been playing for Seaside, almost two decades, and this Sunday is his last Sunday, he's hanging up the sticks, and uh, we just love you, and you're 95 years, 75 years with Eugenia, and uh, what a blessing. Take it away, guys. Hollis Hassel. What I know in December, there's gonna be snow. Santa Claus is coming your way with smiles and happiness all the way. People, it's Christmas time. Come on, Santa, it's Christmas time. The bells are a jingling, it's Christmas time. stocking hanging on the wall mama's gonna make us some popcorn balls see that stove is turning red mama's gonna make us some gingerbread people it's christmas time come on santa it's christmas time the bells are a jingling it's christmas time See that mouse running down the hall? He ain't got no sense at all. Hear those bells? Hear those chimes? I'm letting you know it's Christmas time. People, it's Christmas time. Come on, Santa. It's Christmas time.
Christmas time. Hey, I know Rebecca stopped in, coming in from the airport, picked up a cake for you, Hollis. So everybody have a piece of the cake. Just honoring the wonderful years of music you have brought us. We'll remember this always. And so as I stand before this bounty, I can feel the love, the outpouring that is just alive within this room, this day, this season. For truly, Seaside is a, a generous place of giving. It is a place of caring. It is a place of love. It is a place where there is not judgment. And I know this moment allows us to support that emergence of that God presence that is truly a place where all are welcome. It is a, a place that is truly a welcoming home for all individuals, no matter where we be, may be on our spiritual path. So this gift has been given in love, it is received in love, it is handled in good stewardship, and it is put forth back into motion, bringing this greater good to all that comes in contact. Thank you, Father, Mother, God, for this moment to be able to be part of this wonderful, generous flow of nature of God of the divine itself. And so it is. Amen. All right. Hey, this is Josh, and he is from your board of trustees, just giving a good eye on things for us. Bless you. Speaking of thank you, Brashira, you're just a wonderful spirit and a presence. Songs are great. Just love you so much. Thank you for driving down for all these days. And Rebecca, what a gem. You fly in from far off just to be here with us, and it just means a lot. We love you so much. That's right. And so Friday night, the 22nd, big service here. Candle lights. Everybody gets to light a candle. It's going to be awesome. Yes. Please come join us. We're going to have a blast and just join together in the spirit. That's it. Bring friends, too. Yes. You know, it's not, it's not like we're going to get too spiritual here. It's going to yeah. be a, well, we'll get a little bit in there. We'll get yeah. heart. So. That's what I mean. The spirit of everything. Everything that, you know, That's holidays it. and whatnot. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. It's going to be good. Hey, Dr. Christina, always a joy um, to share our Sunday with you. And thank you for the wonderful Christmas dinner you provide and the New Year's burn bowling ceremony. Not bowl burning, bur you know. <laughs> the old the crud, you burn it, get rid of it, man. Any of the stuff you're carrying, dump it, man, in flame. Poof, that's good, not the bowl. Anyway, hey, thank you today for sound. Steve, Grant, we appreciate you. Marv, uh, for the wonderful visuals, thank you so much. And of course, the Crawford team and those that are behind the camera bringing this message to the world. And it is literally going around the world. So uh, thank you, thank you. Um, take a look at the program. We've got a lot that is happening here at Seaside. Uh, you know, Wednesday nights are magical for sure. Uh, that power-up service. Uh, next Saturday, the men are getting together. So uh, it, it's going to be at uh, Ray Holder's house. It's the men's group, and they uh, once a month get together. But there, it's a big gig uh, once a year. So men... And, um, and so not only are the men having their thing, but Monday night the women are getting together um, to just bring forth a Celtic kind of ceremonious kind of night uh, of just the ceremony and the music and, and, the, and the, the violin and the fiddle. And just uh, it, it's a magical uh, experience. So Monday night, uh, see Kelly at the Seaside Sisters table if you want to experience the ceremony of bringing in the new year, bringing in the light and uh, the whole... Uh, Celtic kind of experience. And then um, Wednesday is the drumming on, on the 20th. Uh, you, know, you can pick up your tickets today. Uh, you see the table. You'll see Cat back there. Or, or you can get them at the door. And then you heard about Friday night. And we can keep going on. There's always something going on. But I'll tell you what's always going on is the heart and love and our way to bring forth spirit at the highest level that we can. Help us be extensions of that light, of that spirit, of, you know, and to bring people back home to the heart because that's where healing happens. That's where our planet's going to be saved. You know, It's just uh, the more we play from that place of caring and understanding and bringing forth that, that divine light, transformation happens. And, and we take time to connect, you know, disrupting the patterns of the insane activities that are going on to meditate and to connect with that life force to that something that is beyond words is powerful. And that's what we do at every service, like right here. So I want to invite any of our religious science practitioners to stand as we open ourselves at that heart level to that which is beyond words, to that vibration, that frequency the, of, of spirit itself. It is a motion, it is a movement that seeks expression. You are that conduit through which it moves. You are that life force of spirit itself. And I know right now that as each of us continues to commit to know spirit at a higher level, that we're able to let go of the challenges and the difficulties in our Grinch kind of experience of whatever that may be. What I know right now is that all of us are able to make that choice to come from heart no matter what is going on, giving up the pain and 
the judgment, the shame, the guilt, or what has happened, may have happened, could happen. It's just about being present in this very moment, and it's in this present moment that spirit is. You can never be where you should have been or you wish you could have been. You are where you are, which is the perfect threshold to the perfect path, to the perfect track of the greater soul expression that each of us have come here to be. And I know right now that you feel the call to come out from where you have been, to come out from them, and to shine that light for which you are. And I know right now as you begin to live with that soul time from the birth of that explosive God expression, healing happens because anything unlike it cannot remain for that presence of God shine so brightly for each and every one of us in this season of light that the body begins to be whole in a greater way, that love expresses in a more powerful way. Our relationships become more intimate and honest, and there is an exchange of a depth where two become one. The Atman, the spirit itself, is what you are, what I am, what I see. For I know right now every prayer and our prayer request chest is honored that our practitioners continue to speak the words of truth, that Seaside continues to be a thriving spiritual community that is prospering, growing, reaching out from a vision that has been God-ordained and supported in our work for which we have come to do, for we are on that perfect path, trusting the train that we are on, having an awareness that we can wait without anxiety, but with a trust and with a deep knowingness that the fullest expression of Seaside's potential is what is happening now. For each of us plays an integral part of that, and in saying yes to that spirit's call, Seaside is, rises ever higher and shines ever brighter. Healing takes place more than ever before. Prayer requests continue to be answered. These miraculous stories we hear this morning continue to be what is the norm. And the heart continues to be full. And as the heart bursts open, it becomes even wider to experience more of the divine and to share with all. So grateful for the transformation from the Grinch, from the darkness to the light to the joy it's what takes place now and this I am grateful for the words I've spoken that they're the truth that they're manifesting that they cannot return void for their law and that which they are sent and I know right now that each of our lives here is touched and we listen to those great spiritual teachers that pointed to how to have the spiritual experience in a personal way it's by being a conduit and saying yes to what moves through your heart's awareness it's with gratitude I let go, I surrender, it's not my way, it's spirit. I let that light shine in ever increasing ways. My world is blessed, your world is blessed, and everyone you touch is enriched by your love and light. So it is. There was a time in my life I thought I had to do it all for myself. I didn't know the grace of God was sufficient I didn't know the love of God was at hand But now I can say If you are discouraged Struggling just to make it through another day You've got to let it go What you have to say come on seaside i release and i let go i let the spirit run my life and my heart is open wide yes i'm only here for god so no more struggle no more strife with my faith i see the light i am free Sing it from your heart.
Beautiful. No more struggle, no more strife. With my faith, I see the light. I am free in the spirit. Yes, I'm only here for God. Yes, he sighed. And our affirmation is, I am in my heart for the holidays. Together, I am in my heart for the holidays. Touch your heart and say it. I am in my heart for the holidays. One more time like you mean it. Come on. I am in my heart for the holidays. And our song of grace. I'm living in love. I'm living in peace. I'm living my life for what I believe Through joys and through fears in this world I walk God's grace shines on me and it shines on us all We are living in grace We are living in grace We are living in grace We're living we're living in peace, united we stand as one family. We honor all truth as together we walk. God's grace moves through me and it moves through us all. We are living in grace. We are living in grace. We are living. We are living in grace. Have a wonderful week, Seaside. Thank you.